What's up guys, I'm Kat here, and today you're watching a video of League Play. Um, it's actually an early, early game of League Play I did when I first got into League Play, and a lot of people probably don't know that I only started playing League Play like last season. This is my second season of playing it. Um, so I'm in like a really shitty division in this video, so that's awesome. Um, I'm playing on Yemen, Hardpoint. Hardpoint is actually probably my best game type, if not Capture the Flag. I really suck at Search and Destroy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm using really weird classes. These are not the classes I use now. I usually use an MSMC or an AN or an M8, depending on what I'm doing. Okay, so I just want you guys to know that, um, if at any point in time you find that I'm having a dry spell where no videos are being posted, it's not the fact that I don't want to post. I'm either, um, busy editing and have nothing to show you as of that moment, or I'm having a technical difficulty because it's extremely rare that I won't want to post videos. I spend like 30% of my time working on videos and outside of that it's kind of like working, being with my girlfriend, um, actually playing video games. Like Editing takes a long time. I don't think people really realize how long editing can take. Because if you haven't done video editing before, or you just kind of did it, like, super casually, just kind of here and there, people people don't even realize how much effort gets put into editing and YouTubing. And I think it's kind of sad that people have, like, YouTube channels with, like, only a handful of subscribers, and you can see how much effort they put into it and how little it gets noticed. It, it's actually kind of bothersome to me, because I feel like people deserve to have... I don't even know how to put it. They deserve to have some kind of a spotlight. Like, people just- they need to get noticed. Because I know a couple people that I've met over Xbox who have an ex- who have a- who have an Xbox. Well, herp or derp, no shit. <laughs> who have a YouTube channel and they do video editing and they don't have a lot of views. They don't have a lot of subscribers. And I can't say I have a lot of views or a lot of subscribers. But I'm doing okay. I'm getting a little bit better. It's- it's- it's picking up a little bit. But it's kind of like- I don't understand- why, as a community, we don't help each other out more. And I understand that the bigger people who do lots of, um, lots of videos who get, like, hundreds of thousand views and millions of subscribers, I know that they have a lot on their plate and they gotta do what they gotta do, but if everybody who had smaller channels just kind of came together and said, you know what, let's just work as a team, let's, um, put our efforts together, put our creativity, our talent, and just come together and promote each other and help each other out, I think that if people took the time to do something like that, you could have an incredible thing. Like, think of uh, KY or Speedy. He and his crew, as a whole, have done extremely well for themselves. I mean, just KY or Speedy alone being popular, all of his crew has kind of gained some fame from that. And that's what I'm talking about. If one of us became um, more popular, I think that we could benefit each other. If I became a bigger channel and I had the opportunity to help out um, fellow gamers and fellow YouTubers, I would do it in a fucking heartbeat. I think it is so important to work together. You're not gonna get anywhere in this, um, I don't want to call it a job or a career, but in this hobby, maybe? You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't give a little. It's kind of like how, um, I, uh, because I work in a hair salon, right? And, um, I work in a salon that's owned, it's a small business. It's not like a huge, like, I don't know, first choice, or, um, there's a really, really expensive and high-end, uh, hair salon in a couple of cities over from me called Valentino's, who have, like, won awards worldwide. It's like, my boss always says, you gotta give a little to get a little, and she's really, really good with the community around her, like, she gives people discounts, she charges, like, little to nothing for people who don't have a lot like and that's how she gains business people come back to something like that and they remember it you got to give people something to remember you got to give to people that's why lots of people do giveaways and stuff because that's the same sort of thing but when you don't have a lot to begin with you gotta you gotta start small you gotta start with something small like just featuring people and interacting with your subscribers if you don't interact with your subscribers you can guarantee nobody's gonna want to stick around because if you don't act like you give a shit about them they're not gonna give a shit about you and that's just how life is that's just the selfish aspect of it oh i'm doing a lot of these vlogs lately i've done like three in a row now did one yesterday the day before doing one today ah uh, okay and i guess i should kind of talk a little bit about what's coming in the future for you guys 
because I do a lot of these videos for other people. It's extremely rare that I do a video <clears throat> that is just for me. When I post videos doing- <clears throat> sorry, my, I just woke up, my voice, all, voice is all fucked up. When I do videos of me playing with people online or I'm playing with friends or whatever, I'm posting it for those people. Those people probably would really, really enjoy watching it. And they do. They tell me. They're like, that was a really good video. You're really good at doing this. And I really seriously appreciate the feedback, even from close friends. Because it just, people don't realize how much that can mean to somebody. Especially when you work that hard to make something like that. Um, but in the future, you're probably going to see a little bit of a, um, maybe a dry spell. I'm going to try not and let it happen. That's why I'm doing a lot of editing now. I'm building up um, videos to post. So even if I don't have time to edit when I move in three weeks, I will be able to post a video that I've done previously. So you'll have stuff to watch still, but just be aware that there may be a dry spell. I don't think there will be. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I've got a lot of GTA to edit. I've got a lot of Call of Duty League, a lot of gameplay, a lot of Fun Day Sundays coming. Uh, but Funday Sundays are the most difficult to edit because of all the subtitles I put in them. And I think Sunday Funday is fun because sometimes you don't always catch what people say. And by putting in the subtitles, people catch it and they realize what's going on. It's a lot funnier. I can tell people like it a lot. Sunday Funday by far gets the most views and the best response. But I don't always have time to do that. Sunday Funday can take up to seven hours to edit one video, depending on what I do with it, how long it is, you know, like... Uh, you guys don't even realize if you don't do editing you have no idea how how long this kind of stuff can take um watching this video as I record this uh, it's it's not very good gameplay I don't really know how I did so I think kids probably dropped I don't know oh okay so I think I'm done with this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it gave you some insight on kind of myself my editing um, what the future has to bring, but bottom line, I think that people need to come together and work together more. Trying to do a solo channel is just, it's not, it's not easy to, to get anywhere from rock bottom. You gotta, you gotta find, you gotta get some help from people. And I've kind of tried to contact some channels, like some bigger ones, some smaller ones. I get the most feedback from smaller channels though, because they don't get a lot of, um, notifications or not notifications oh my god i'm so tired i can't even think straight they don't get a whole lot of contact from their subscribers their viewers fellow youtubers and i think that by doing so myself and taking the initiative it it makes them feel better about their own channel it makes them feel like yeah there's only two people in this game it makes them feel like they can benefit me and i can benefit them easily but the bigger channels have never responded back to me which is kind of sad but that's kind of to be expected, right? So yeah, this is the end of the video. I can't believe I talked through this entire video of 8 minutes and 22 seconds. Um, so yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later, guys.